Let's imagine just for a moment that I have a smooth vector curve, vector function, R of t, defining this curve in the plane. And I've even indicated a direction of motion. We know the unit tangent vector points one unit in the direction of motion, right? It's the direction of the velocity vector. I want to introduce another very important vector. And again, just for a moment, let's imagine we're just in the plane. There is always a vector perpendicular to t that points inward towards the direction of the curve called big N, the principal unit normal vector. Now, we're going to define big N here, and I'm thinking in the plane, but the definition we're going to work with also works in space. So big T points in the direction of motion one unit, big N points inward to a turn. So let's see what big N is. Because T is one unit long, I know that it's always orthogonal to its own derivative. So DT DT is normal to big T, but it might not be a unit vector. So I need to divide it by its own length. And this is the vector that I claim points inward to the turn is perpendicular to big T. Well, I know it's perpendicular to big T because it's in the same, it's the direction of its derivative, right? Vectors of constant length are perpendicular to their own derivative. Now I just need to convince you that it points inwards. So let's examine dt dt. Dividing by its own magnitude only makes it a unit vector. If I can convince you that this vector points inwards, then so does this one. Okay. I'm going to draw myself a little plane down here because I want to think about the unit tangent vectors. And because, well, they're unit vectors. So if I kind of imagine moving one to the origin, it points to a point on the unit circle. And in fact, I could imagine that that little vector would point at some point just like that, just one unit long. Okay, now let's imagine I move just a little further along, right? My vector hit, my curve has curved a little bit, and so now my unit vector's pointing more almost right there, right? So let's look at that diagram. I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Both of my vectors ended up in the first quadrant, so let's just look at the little first quadrant of that unit circle. At the first time, I'm gonna think of that as t of t, I had a vector that looked like that, and at the next time, almost pointing right over there, I have t of, let's say, t plus delta t. Okay, well, I'm thinking about dt dt. Of course, I want to think about the difference quotient. And so that would be big T of t plus delta t minus t of t all over delta t. All right, well, if I think about the parallelogram law, this difference of vectors points from the head of that one to the head of that one. All right, and now I think about taking the limit as delta t goes to zero to get this one, and this vector would point tangent to my unit circle, inward to this curve. Dividing it by its own length makes it a unit vector. Okay, so now imagine that I am at a point that curves the other direction. My unit vector goes from pointing somewhere like this to pointing somewhere like that, the subtraction would be reversed, and now my unit vector is going to point, my unit normal vector is going to point inwards to that curve. Okay, so we have a perfectly good definition formula for the principal unit normal vector. Sometimes I'm just gonna call it the normal vector. The normal vector big N is perpendicular to big T and is one unit long. I like to take this both as my calculation formula and as my definition formula, there's another way to define big N. And your author does this. It's 1 over curvature dt ds. Well, curvature is the magnitude of this vector. This is just a vector multiplied by its own size. t 
is still a unit vector, so its derivative is orthogonal to itself. This is just another way of writing down this same idea. And you can actually use the chain rule to prove this equality. In our next video, we're going to take an example in three space and calculate curvature, big T, and big N. And that way we've kind of, we'll have a summary of all the things we've learned in this section so far.